Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to construct an interval estimate for the population mean in the standard deviation unknown case. So in this video, we are going to make use of the descriptive statistics tool in Excel and we are going to use the t-distribution. So before we go on, let's talk a little bit about the t-distribution. When we develop an interval estimate for a population mean, in most cases we do not know or we do not have a reliable estimate for the population standard deviation. In those cases, we use a sample to estimate for the population mean and the population standard deviation. So when we use the sample standard deviation to estimate for the population standard deviation, the margin of error and the interval estimate are based on the t distribution. So if you were to calculate this manually, the formula would be x bar plus n minus the t distribution multiplied by the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of n. The t distribution is a family of similar probability distribution and each t distribution depends on the parameter called the degrees of freedom. The degree of freedom is calculated using the formula n minus 1. It is said that when the degree of freedom increases, variability decreases, and the difference between the t-distribution and the standard normal distribution becomes smaller and smaller. The t-distribution also has a mean of zero, similar to the standard normal distribution curve. So to get started with the confidence interval estimation in Excel, here we have a data set. The data set contains salaries in public institutions in US dollar, and this is for teachers with 15 years of experience. This is ranging from the year 2000 till 2015. So in order to get started, first under the data tab on the right hand side, you need to make sure you have the data analysis tool. If you don't see it under your data tab on the right hand side, then please check out this video that I have uploaded, which shows you how to add the data analysis tool pack in Excel. I'll put the link right here. Now to get started, we're going to click on the data analysis tool pack. Here we're going to select descriptive statistics. Here in the input range, you will select your data set. You can leave this as grouped by columns. If you do select the label here, you need to make sure that you select this box. If you don't include the labels while you're selecting your data set in this step, you don't need to check this box. Now I want to display the results right here. So in this box where it says output range, you need to select the cell where you want to display the results. You need to also make sure you check the summary statistics. And unless asked, you can just leave this at default at 95%. So here I'm going to generate a 95% confidence interval, so I will leave it as this. Again, do a quick double check here. In the input range, you need to make sure you select your data set. You need to leave this grouped by columns. If your labels are selected, make sure that you check this box. The output range is where you want to display your results. So after you click on this cell, you need to click anywhere in your cell where, where you want the results to be displayed. You need to make sure the summary statistics is checked. And if you want to change the interval level, you can change it by checking on this box. So in order to create our 95% confidence interval, for teacher salaries, we're going to first write down our point estimate for the mean. And we're going to grab this value from our results. Next, we're going to type lower limit and upper limit. So the lower limit for our point estimate will be mean minus the confidence level and the upper limit will be mean plus confidence level. The result that is displayed in this box where it shows the confidence level for 95% confidence interval, this is your margin of error. So this number is actually the second part of your formula. 
So let me round up these values to the next whole number. Okay. Another thing to note is here, because we're using the T distribution in your formula, you are using your sample standard deviation. If you were to use your function in Excel to calculate the sample standard deviation, you will notice that this is the same as in the results displayed on your screen. So these two are the same and they are the sample standard deviation. Now how do we interpret the results? We found our lower limit for a 95% confidence interval for our data set to 42,677 and the upper limit to be 50,867. The way we interpret this is we can state that we are 95% confident that the salaries of teachers with 15 years of experience is going to be between $42,677 and $50,867. You can also do formatting here by selecting the cells and under your home tab in the center, you want to change it to currency. And you can also round it up. So this is how we calculate a 95% confidence interval for the T-distribution in Excel.